we have not yet announced any change of strategy. What I can say is that we have initiated major um, developments uh, in, the, in, the, in the recent months, um, especially in the area of, of, of technology and the um, customization of, 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 uh, of, of product, because the, the time is, the, the years are gone where airlines have just um, sold uh, three products, which is first business class and economy, right? right? So the expectations of consumers today are that um, you can customize a product that it suits you best, right? right. Um, you are no longer willing to pay for products that are not the perfect match or fit, right? And you are no longer um, willing to pay for um, a product that is bundled up, you know, with components in there that has no value for you. Now, airlines were not very good in that in the past because we have a very high dependency on, on uh, legacy technology, especially on the, on the distribution yeah. side. Um, with the fourth industrial revolution also <laughs> knocking on our door, um, um, digital technology that allows us to get less dependent on legacy technology um, allows us now to tap into this opportunity. So when you saw us introducing neighbor-free seats or bagless fares or um, extra legroom uh, seats and all those products, it's a, it's a first teaser you know, of where the journey uh, will be going. This year we have slowed down our growth, for example. Yes. Um, and that was a, a direct uh, response to a uh, um, a changing environment. You know, we had uh, since 2015 uh, 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 quite a, uh, a marked overcapacity situation, ever increasing since then to this very, very moment, um, with um, um, overcapacity on, on key um, overlapping competitive traffic flows. Um, we we were responding to that in a very agile way. We have slowed down our growth last year. We have almost flat. Um, in, in, in growth in ASK um, this year, mm -hmm. which was a direct response to that to that uh, situation. Our yields, you know, in the in the past years, um, in this in this part of the world especially, have come down um, very very strongly. In the past three to four years, it was up to 30 percent the yield drop for all for all for all airlines of this part of the world. Um, you know that was a, certainly a necessity to to to, to react to that as every responsible business does. That is a, a change of of, of previous uh, uh, growth plans and and has a high strategic so, thinking. So you in would, that. I mean, is it fair to say that you would kind of look to grow more organically now rather than well, equity partnerships? It, it is it, it is a good point. I mean, it is it is more than ever um, our focus to make sure that we, first of all, optimize our network to the point-to-point -point market, so our direct, right. our direct um, okay. uh, connections. Um, this is important for Etihad to have a, a strong uh, share of the overall mix that we carry, that we maximize the share of this point-to-point -point because that's, that's, that's higher yield, right? right? That's better quality of revenue for us than being overly dependent on um, highly price-sensitive leisure, connecting leisure business. Um, and there's certainly a, 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 a stronger focus than ever on, on maximizing that. But also, you know, to make a major contribution to destination Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi um, is, is growing strongly uh, as a destination in, uh, um, in its own right, right? Mm -hmm. Within the UAE, with, with a, a strong footprint, foot, 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 foot footprint in, on, 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 the, on the leisure, on the tourism side, with um, investment into tourism infrastructure that now comes alive such as most recently the Louvre Abu Dhabi yeah that's but right. you know this is this is a another a moment reflecting here absolutely own, that's like, uh, yeah. what we call the facets of Abu Dhabi as part of our brand strategy yeah. but but on a very serious note you know I mean, these are major milestones for destination Abu Dhabi uh, to achieve to put Abu Dhabi um, you know into global limelight and putting Abu Dhabi firmly on the map um, and attract uh, incoming um, tourism and, and, and traffic flows that haven't been there uh, in the past. And of course, you know, we want to be right there when it all happens um, and, and further help uh, stimulating that. Um, but also also the, 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 business, the, business, the business footprint with Abu Dhabi Global Markets as an example. You know, this, these are major, major developments which are major opportunities. But we, we need to make sure for Etia that we grow in line, you know, with 
our home market development and growth and our key regional markets to make sure that we are always our traffic is in the right proportion and mix.